Hi everyone, welcome back to Stay Shining with Diamond. I am your host, Diamond Holly, and this is my father. Hey everyone, welcome back. And we are gonna be talking about mindset shifts today. Now, if you aren't familiar with mindset shifts, it's basically when your mind goes from one way of thinking to a different way of thinking. So if you are negative, if a person is negative, and then they shift their mindset gradually to a positive mindset, then they are experiencing a mindset shift. So me and my daughter are gonna be talking about ways that have helped us. But let's get straight into this episode. Before we start, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Subscribe and like. And if you are new here, welcome back. Now let's get started. Okay, so our first little tip for y'all would be focus on what you like about yourself and what's in your power to change right now. I feel like as humans, we naturally think of things that we don't like about ourselves immediately. Like we're always like pointing out maybe the insecurities within ourselves instead of focusing on the things that we love about ourselves. I think people do like to bring up all the things that are not positive aspects of their lives and things that, you know, are detractors um, instead of things that are going to move you forward. It's easier to dwell in, in things that you can accomplish instead of, uh, you know, the things that you can. Exactly. So, so and, uh, for a lot of people, but mm -hmm. I, I think if people can, like, shift their, their mindset, they can actually move right. into a space where they're making a lot of uh, uh, great changes in their world. Exactly. Like, I know for me, when I'm like, sometimes I'm just like, I'm always focused, sometimes focusing on the negative. Mm -hmm. And so I have to tell myself, you know what, I love this about myself. And when you remind yourself what you like about yourself and what you love about yourself rather than the other BS, then it just makes you build a better relationship with yourself, like more self love and all of that, you know? Yeah. Okay. Um, next is you, this is like a little quote everybody knows, but it's like, you won't enjoy the outcome unless you join the process. And I know that we talked about this, like in the last episode, it's just like enjoying the journey mm -hmm. and the whole part of the journey instead of focusing on the destination. And this is such a big one for me because I feel like at first, like even when we started doing this, like I was so focused on the destination like yeah, I yeah you were already like fast forward <laughs> like where you saw yourself at you yes know, mentally you were already living in that space yes however that's not necessarily a bad thing you gotta kind of you know envision where you want to be of and you gotta start taking the steps to move forward to mm -hmm. be where you want to be so in your case I mean it, it wasn't a bad thing and you know by you putting yourself in that mindset uh, look at all the other things you were able to accomplish and as you were working toward that space mm -hmm. uh, or the person that you wanted to be you gradually gained the tools that were needed to be that person so exactly. honestly it was actually uh it was actually a positive and then i fell in love with the process way more like yeah. i fell in love with the details just fell in love with the journey overall and i was started to pay attention to the little things like because the little things are are the little things matter yeah you know? the devil's in the details like oh i like that so <laughs> So yeah, I feel like once you enjoy the process more, then everything else falls in line, basically mm -hmm. what yeah. you were saying. Exactly. It's all about the journey. Mm -hmm. And once you enjoy and respect and have gratitude and be humble for that journey, yes. then you can truly get the uh, the outcome and the result that you're looking for. Things do get easier for you. Yeah. Also, like with mindset shifts, I feel like mindset shifts have a lot to do with affirmations. Like it's basically like... You know, I, you know, sometimes I'm complaining about stuff <laughs> and I would be like, okay, this is so hard. Like I, this is so hard. Like I really just, I do that a lot. Yeah. And, but you know, my, my thing is there's, 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 there's countries that are building super mega cities in the yeah. next seven, eight years, right? <laughs> Um, yes. there, there's uh, people who want to go to a whole nother planet and recolonize it. Yeah. And so for uh, most of us, mm -hmm. it's kind of. It's kind of crazy that we, we we put our put so much pressure on yeah. ourselves, and when you know to due to the magnitude of what we're we're doing mm -hmm. compared to all those things that are going to happen, yeah. you got to scale it back and be like, okay, if these people are going to different planets, then I can be uh, you know a little bit more exactly uh, forgiving of myself for you know not you know having the right mentality, well, but, for but, all. but actually rethinking the whole process and then start moving toward that space. Um, I heard a quote that said, everybody has more electrons and neutrons in their body, just like in the universe, mm -hmm. right? So if all those things are interconnected and you have all this energy and all We're this power, uh, <laughs> you made up from the universe and we have all this power in us. Mm -hmm. So why is it 
that we can't manifest and and right. create that narrative that we're looking for. Exactly. And another thing, like mindset shifts are just like taking, hmm, like so, you know me saying things are challenging. Mm-hmm. Like okay, this is challenging, but it is bettering me. You know, yeah. like it's just all about the way you say things mm-hmm. too. Like the way you say things. I don't know. I you have to catch yourself like too like. Okay, this is off topic a little bit, but last year, I don't know if I was talking about this in my Diamonds Corners, like one of my Diamonds Corners or one of my seasons of Stay Shining, but basically I was like, I healed myself from anxiety. Like, I do not have anxiety as bad as I did, like, last year or the year before, like, being in the car, because being in the car, I have mad anxiety, like, panic attacks, but I don't have that anymore. Like, I had to work with myself and train my mind and, like, in the moment of being in the car, like, when I would be freaking out, like, I just really had to talk to myself in my mind and just, like, just tell myself, like, bro, you're good, like, just walk myself through the whole process over and over again, like, in Arizona, it's more slower traffic, but here, it's wild. Yeah, uh, you gotta be on your P's and Q's. Right. Something can happen, change your life in, uh, <laughs> in a heartbeat. It's crazy what we've seen, but it's just, like, you know, it's you have to walk through, you have to walk yourself through, you have to talk to yourself, you have to, like, really catch yourself in the moment and once you are making those mindset shifts like it gets easier to do because at first like you're not paying as much attention to Mm -hmm. what you need to change you know like you're just like okay that's that's the first thing you gotta have is awareness exactly you you know after you've gone through something for such a long time Mm -hmm. you know first we got to put some steps in place awareness and then we identify Mm -hmm. and then we actually start making attempts to actually cure the process exactly and then we have to do which most important the fourth thing is move the hell on Mm -hmm. you know what i mean you know move away from those spaces that were holding us back exactly you know another thing was like i have on my list was like be aware of who you are Mm -hmm. because once you are making those mindset shifts like you are discovering yourself a little more. You're like, oh, okay, I was this type of person. Like, I'm glad I'm making those shifts to not be this type of person yeah. anymore. It just makes you more aware of your, like, your thoughts, your mm-hmm. habits, and everything. Yeah. Like I said, awareness is, mm-hmm. uh, is, is, the, is the, the, the thing that's going to basically start to kick this whole process off. Exactly. Um, you know, a lot of people walk around and they're either naive, not paying attention, yeah. uh, you know, playing it slow or whatever the case may yeah. be. Um, and you know, sometimes when you have that veil over your face, you know what I mean. You 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 miss a lot of things. Exactly. And so it's time to actually get in the game mm-hmm. and actually pay attention to everything that's going on. Have some sense of awareness, right. and then um, right. you know, start making some steps to move forward. And mm-hmm. like, you know, uh, going back because you were like, you know, you were kind of saying like anything is possible mm-hmm. when you like you have people going to Mars or whatever. Like mm-hmm. that's on my list too. Like anything is impossible. I feel like. Thinking things that are thinking, th- it's a limiting belief if you don't think anything yeah. is possible. Like, that's already a limiting belief, and we want to shift our mindsets mm-hmm. to like anything is possible because it really is. Like, the world is so different nowadays. Like, it really, yes. we've seen so many people get to where they want to be. We've seen so many people change their mm-hmm. lives. Like, there's so many examples eight for billion, every eight, age. Eight billion ways to do this thing. Yeah. You so, know? Yeah. This so game I feel of like, life. Right. If you have people around you, like, who are, just know that that is them. That is what they, that is what they think. And just think to yourself, anything is possible. Once I started thinking anything is possible, I, more has been coming to me. Like, I've been open to receive more, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Does that make sense in a way? No, no. If you don't know what you want, how can you get it? Yeah. You know? <laughs> that at some point you got to actually ask the universe to, for the stuff that you want in life, whether exactly. that's mental, physical, um, uh, emotional, uh, financial, or whatever the case may be. Right. You have to reach out to the universe and, ha- and grab it, you know yeah. what I mean, and take it for yourself. I also like you saying that, like, you have to voice it. That's like another thing because. I used to not care what, what I was saying, like, what was coming out of my mouth. Like, yeah, we all know that. that. Like, know. <laughs> we all know that when it came but that's to the, me. But, you know, that's a small delusion that some of us go through. Yeah. Uh, we, or a lot of us go through. We're we not have, mindful what we say. Exactly. And I've really gotten mindful on what comes out, like, every single word that comes out of my mouth. Because you are speaking into existence. Mm-hmm. Like, every little thing. Like, you just have to be so... I feel like that's just a lesson, like, growing up. Like, yeah. once you hit, like... Once you're adulting, you know, like, okay, you can't just be saying anything. No, you got to be mindful of your thoughts. 
because you can manifest what you speak and if you are even joking like i don't even like to joke yeah because i just take life serious sometimes like i just you know some people say don't take life serious some people say do but it's like there's a time and place there's moments but like i am so serious when it comes to life like yeah, and you gotta I, just, be. <laughs> I just you only really get um let me see how many of them uh oh one <laughs> So since you, you only get ever. that one, you got to make it <laughs> worthwhile. Exactly. So I'm just like, I don't even be joking anymore. Like, I ain't got the time. Like, everything that I speak really comes to me. Like, I am really, like, a lucky girl. So it's just like... It ain't luck. It's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, it's it's a higher power at, at work there. Yeah. The, I, they are really working for me. But it's just like... You just really have to be mindful of what you say. Like, you can't just be out here just saying anything. And, yeah, like, I, and, and like you said, by being mindful, that means now you can project the things that, that you want to come to you in exactly. your life. The way you want things to be. Mm -hmm. If you want great health, you project it. If you want um, better wealth, you project it. If, right. you, if you want a better space in life, a better place in a better direction you project these things you and have then to speak it into you, existence. once i always had this thing once you actually kind of like lay it all out and like you know who you want to be yeah be that person in advance that you want to be and as you're working on that person all these different Maybe. things will just start happening for you like you'll get smarter mm -hmm. you'll you'll treat people right you'll be humble you'll be grateful you just um, become a better person you just literally start striving to be that better person and you will become that better person and right. then once you're a better person then you can help other people mm -hmm. you become better people so exactly that was another thing is uh what was it <laughs> Uh, yeah, start acting the way you want to be. Mm -hmm. Like, I've always, I feel like I've been always done really good at that. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like it's really a practice. Like, you cannot be waking up, y'all. Y'all can't be waking up the same. Like, you really have to when walk you, in those shoes of the person that you see yourself to when be. When you wake up, don't wake up bitter. Yeah. Um, when you wake up, um, first be humble. The fact that you are, are able to work, wake up, be grateful that Gratitude. you're able. Um, you know, uh, be grateful for all the things that you have. You mm -hmm. know, and just you know, when you wake up, it's the first opportunity pro to project out your day, your week, your month, yeah. your year, your next ten. So make sure that you're in a mindful space when you're when you're waking up. So you can get everything out of that day, out of that life that you want. Exactly. I feel like once you start walking in the person you want to be, everything falls in line. Like, it's really just you that has to apply yourself and you that has to work with yourself. Yeah. You know, because nobody, obviously nobody's going to help you. But it's just like, if you want to be better, then you have to, you have to train yourself. Like, I saw something, I saw a quote and it was just like, you know, it takes time to train ourselves, like something like that. I forgot what the quote is. I'll leave it in the description because I do have it in my phone. But it's just like it takes time to train yourself. Like, yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't do. happen overnight. However, that mindset shift has to happen immediately yeah. um, for you to start making those changes in your life. Right. right. You know, and it's going to be a gradual process. Mm -hmm. And once again, you got to respect the journey. Mm -hmm. One of my closest friends, he's, uh, you know, celebrating, I think, his 10th year of sobriety. And for me, that's just, so amazing. That, is, uh, that is flat out amazing. 10 years. 10 years. You know what I mean? And to to see the struggles and the, and the man that we were both at a certain time and for us to achieve to be something different at this point in our lives. Yeah. I mean, it's it's great to see. That you know? is so amazing. So, <laughs> for one, you got to celebrate yourself because... Yeah. You, you should be happy with the person you are no matter what you are Facts. and where you are in life so once you are, are happy with who you are and mm -hmm. then you can start making that awareness and right. those changes and uh, making that process happen for yourself so basically like celebrating the progress that you've made over yes. the perfection i am a firm so believer cute. of celebrating the uh the one percenters of us that uh <laughs> <laughs> that, that uh that uh do this
actually get out there and keep on pushing, you know, no matter what. Mm -hmm. But yeah, celebrating progress over perfection. Like you guys saw in the last episode, you know, I usually beat myself up about not you know being perfect sometimes well, on things <laughs> you know like you said what practice doesn't make you perfect but yeah. striving for perfection is, is good and all but yeah. you know just being a better person is, is the ultimate goal right right so the it's, progress it's, like it's not it's not it's the progress not about perfection you yeah know what I mean? and once you really think about that like and anything you do like for me like the progress that we've made Mm -hmm. Like, as a team, and the progress that we made with the company, it's just, like, it came so far. Well, well, and, well, let's talk about that. Now, one of the things that we, we in our family, we have this mindset that, you know, we're Team Holly. Yeah. Uh, we're a family unit, and basically, it's it's up to us to actually get to where we want to be. Yes. So, we've I've always had, like, a family crest or a family mission, um, a, a family, uh, you know, purpose. Yeah. So, we've always had these different rules that we follow it's not about um you know being you know it's people turning a certain age and everybody going sideways and people not dealing with each other or yeah we've never like really that. been on that we we're, we're more of like okay we're we a team together. we can work together we can stick together we can build together mm -hmm. and i think if if families can't even build together then how can you build in your community how can yeah. you basically re-engage with people further out than you you know what i mean right. so i think that it's important to make sure that your family crest, or family structure is is hold, mm -hmm. and, and if you like, if you don't have a family, then you know just your your, Build your that core within you within and yourself. find those people that are family to you. You yeah. know, it's all, it can be built. They don't have to be bloodline. They can be people in your circle that right. you know that are family. You know, and that's what I do love about us, like Team Holly. Like we don't have to. It's gonna get fun, like as we keep doing this, because then we get to experience like life together like mm -hmm. we get to experience things together and like oh you know like families i see other people like they don't really experience they have their family but they mm -hmm. don't experience with their family like yeah. you know what i mean like yeah. i i'm such a family person so <laughs> i think it's going to be fun once we do get to these places mm -hmm. with the company and you know with me and my career to just like have my family with me because I don't want to be I don't want to be alone with like in the industry by myself without without my family yeah. you know like I I love the family structure so yeah family community mm -hmm. um, self-worth those, yeah. those, those are three things that you need to make sure not in that no order necessarily <laughs> yeah but you guys get it <laughs> and lastly it would just be like you said holding yourself a hundred percent accountable and like not having that veil over your face you know like mm -hmm. i feel like I, we talked about this in season one because remember i was having that episode and i was like uh, i started holding myself accountable God. You know, do you remember just, that yeah it's it's it, you don't if, you, if there's no accountability um it's life is tough then it, it's just going i guess to be, it's not it's, it's just, just like you're going like, through life with it, like it, oh yeah. whatever happens happens and there's i take no responsibility for yes it, so like um, it's whatever. No, that is not how you do it. <laughs> that was me, that guys. That was me at one point. You got to be like, okay, yeah. I'm trying to learn from mm -hmm. every lesson in my life. You can't get, you can't skip from chapter one to chapter ten without going through chapter one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right. Yeah. So, um, you know, each chapter is there to provide new growth for you, um, new knowledge, uh, new information, new new ways to help you move. And so, make sure you soak up each chapter in your life. Right. I also, I feel like when you are 100% accountable, like hold yourself accountable, then that like goes hand in hand with discipline, you know? Yeah. Doesn't it go hand in hand for discipline mm -hmm. in a way? Like, yeah. I, at least for me, it well, does. Discipline, a disciplined person will hold themselves accountable. Yeah. You know I mean, it would make you more of a disciplined person if right. you have accountability. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, being an ex, uh, no, not an ex, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, being a former Marine, uh, yes. you know. Um, a vet. <laughs> um, we had, you know, honor, courage, commitment um, for all those who know. What is it? JJ Tie Buckle. Uh, it's oh, just wow. basically a bunch of acronyms: justice, judgment. Um, uh, I'll get into it another time, but it's okay. just like dishonorable <laughs> terms that people live by, mm -hmm. so that they can basically um, have a 
disciplined uh, approach to doing what they do. And that's important. Like, if you're young and watching this, like, in high school, like, you know, obviously we have our morals that, like, we grow up learning. Like, you know, like, you have your morals and stuff. But I encourage, I encourage you to build that. What were you saying? What is it? The, the, the acronym? Yeah, like, yeah. stuff like that, like, to live by earlier if that makes sense because all it, when I was in high school I just, I just had my morals I knew what to do what not to do like you know but I wish I was more disciplined and mm-hmm. more orderly and held well, myself accountable and that's like something obviously you learn when you are yeah. adulting but like start now if you're young because I wish I had that when I was young oh believe me we tried to push it down your throat but everybody you know picks that up at their own pace <laughs> right it, <laughs> so that like, is it's, very never, true. It's, it's never too late as you can see yeah yeah <laughs> that oh my gosh but <laughs> but yeah start i feel like younger people nowadays that have such a great opportunity to pick up on things and learn well, things and know. be this, more the, aware the thing of about things. the thing about younger people now the society is, is in a different space than it was at different points yeah. in, in the last 20 30 years yeah or 40 years i, I just think that uh it's it's, it's going to be a very uh, uh tough it's time for tough. parents to bear basically but Blade i've seen it. i've seen parents be able to navigate these new ways of uh of life you can do it then. Uh, well, see, you guys came from a different era. That was, that was at a different time. I'm talking about these new iPad babies. Um, the, <laughs> the iPad babies, no, for real. Okay, yeah. It's definitely going to be hard for the, the, the up-and-coming, mm-hmm. dinner, like, parents. Yeah. Uh, well, maybe since they got iPads, you could just find the video for them and just, you know, slide it in front of them and make it, maybe um, pick it up. <laughs> a little, a little Motivation, signal. Motivation, <laughs> gratitude, humble. Right, right. <laughs> Treat people nicely. Mm-hmm. Open doors for other people. Like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully that's in a little YouTube kid little lesson that they be learning. I don't know. But, yeah, accountability, discipline, all that good stuff. Just, you know, I feel like the more books you read, too. Like, uh, when I was young, y'all, they say that I was you, not a book reader. They, actually, you were, but um, you just didn't read as many as you read now. And they say yeah. statistically, uh, most Americans only read one book uh, a year. Stop. Yes, that is the. That's that embarrassing. The yes, and so oh my for, for God. those who are doing two books a week, then you're in. Yes. The, you're like in the eighty percentile or somewhere. Like <gasps> one you're, you're, book a yeah, year. Yeah, yeah it's, I don't know anybody who reads one book a year. It's pretty rough if that's all the information that you're taking in. Like, See, I talk about this on Diamonds Corner, guys. Mm-hmm. Like, we need to be. If you're not in school, like you need to be educating yourself. Like, so, you can't just be going through yeah. life. You can't be just going through the motions. Like, you need to be researching a topic a good every week, two mm-hmm. topics a week, because you don't want to be out here and not kept up with the times. It's not good looks. Like be, be, uh, <laughs> Being a knowledgeable, knowledgeable person in America is very important to yeah. Um, you, the young people are going to be the people who are going to change our right. whole country, the whole dynamics of the way we do things. Mm-hmm. So we need them to uh, uh, educate themselves up to a certain standard, a certain level that, you know, so when those changes start happening, that they're ready to make those the right decisions based on that knowledge that they have. For sure. Oh, my gosh. One book of me. That's yeah, that's a pretty really, bad statistic. I did not know that at all. <laughs> they, they post that all on like Facebook, Instagram. Like you can find all that little random factoids Guys, all over the place. I encourage you to go pick out a book right now. Yeah. It's easy. You can literally find books on YouTube, like an Audible book. They have the whole thing and listen to it in the whole day. Like that's what I'd be doing sometimes. Like if I don't want to sit there and read. Like I don't know. There has there. Uh-uh. Yeah, if, if you're not listening to our podcast, that's on Spotify, Anchor, and Google. Um, and iHeartRadio, yes. then um, you could probably listen to one of those uh, those audio Auto, audio books. Like I just got done reading the Twelve Week Year, and that book was amazing. Mm-hmm. Like it, it kind of challenged me a little bit because I was like, um, oh, getting all this done in twelve weeks. Rather than a year, it's well, just, I mean, but it's just, uh, like, it sets uh, you up the whole uh, plan. Uh, like it, mean, it's a it's, lot of information. I mean, that's a great idea, though. Yeah, like, to be because I mean. You want to? Do, would you really want to drag it out over a year? No. And you can do it in, in, in 12, twelve weeks. weeks. Like, and then on. they prep you like the steps. Like the book is so informative. Mm-hmm. Like I, at first I was a little overwhelmed because mm-hmm. we have a lot to do, a lot to run, and and like in a year already. Well, <laughs> but no, I'm, like, but like twelve mean, weeks. But like I always say, you know, 
No, I'm gonna keep that topic to myself. What? Uh, I just think that a lot of people today yeah. don't really have as many excuses. Um, right. Be but, honest. Give it to them raw. You know, I mean, I was a father at a young age. Yeah. Right. Um, not saying that I'm promoting that or any fashion form. I don't think you know. Don't get, have kids. No, don't though. have kids at a young age. Right. However, um, if I could go to school, raise my family, read books, mm -hmm. educate myself, work a job. Uh, toward my career and all those different things and my kids had pretty much all the stuff that was essential and they needed yeah then i think most people who don't have all those same things yeah can go do a whole lot more that's why i be looking at people a little different like some of my friends used to be complaining i'm like girl like you just don't even know what my parents like the training that we be like because my dad really do be saying that he's like I bought houses, I did cars, like, me and your mom really did the damn thing, and I'm like, okay, like, it, once you have that kind of training, like, that kind of knowledge, you just look at life different, so just, yeah, no excuses, like, yeah. I ain't got, you don't know excuses for real, like, I, mean, I and, and, and as a parent, I mean, yeah. as a dadager, uh -huh. um, you gotta push the, your team, you know what I mean, yeah. it's all about the leadership that's in the family structure, too, if it's yeah. weak leadership, then you're gonna get weak results. So you Facts. got you. I mean, it's just like uh, I'm like a pet bull when it comes to like playing. progression, <laughs> and doing stuff. Like, I I really don't play around. I'm not playing with my life. I only get one of them. Yeah. And so for me to have this uh, one life, I'm gonna make sure it's gonna be the best life that, that I live. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? For sure. And it's gonna have everything and all my stuff on my bucket list and um, you know just all that. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? One thing about one thing I love about older people nowadays is just like they're still reaching their goals. Like you really can start at any age. You can, you can. And that's what inspires me so much. Cause like as youngins, we always like we rush in, we're yeah. rushing. Well, you guys, you guys think that you got more time to. Yeah. For for the, us on the uh, the back half of our life, the people who have uh, more memories than more memories that we're going to gain. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have to basically be a little more aggressive at, at my age, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't want to be fighting for retirement or <laughs> fighting for hard, working hard when I'm 60 and 70 trying yeah. to, just so I can live right. You know what I mean? Those are the things you got to start at a young age. you got to start at a certain point. you got to yeah. move that needle. But um, I do love how, like, older people in your generation, like, they, they start and accomplish so many big things, like, at 30, at 40, at 50, yeah. at 60. Like, that makes me, like... It's, it's just, I think... It makes me feel I better. Think, Obviously, I'm going to accomplish as much as I can when yeah. I'm young, but it makes me feel better that I can accomplish even more at that age. I attribute it to the work ethic. Mm -hmm. You know, from that time, those those individuals, that those groups had yeah. the work ethic, and they worked really hard to achieve the things that they want. Right. Now, necessarily, you got uh, you don't see that that oomph yeah. that fire. You always be saying that. You so your generation I mean? just doesn't have that... The hungry. <laughs> yeah, they not, they not. I think of Les, yeah. it Les Brown every yeah, time, like the way Brown, he gotta speaks. Be hungry. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that I don't, I don't see a lot. But then again, you see a lot of people who have at a young age have developed. Um, yeah. Um, some some great outlets for themselves and other for people. For sure. You know what I mean? Like the one guy we were talking about yesterday. Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast, he gives out all 24 the, years old. I'm 24 still not years over old. It. He's only a year older than her. I'm and not he's over He's giving it. away cars. He's been doing YouTube for 10 years. 10 years. That's and, insane. And literally, he just bought an island or somebody gifted him an island or something that, like some that. Some shit like that. But like, yeah. it's just like someone say, like, the, anything is possible. But you one. know what? The one thing I like about his premise, he he's always willing to give he gets stuff, but he gives more. Of, he gives everything yes, back to everyone I love it. that he deals with. And mm -hmm. it's just like the people that are his fans and stuff are rewarded for being his fans. You yeah. know what I mean? It's just like it's not about it's just him. Right. He's trying to help change people's narrative. Mm -hmm. Like the time he was giving away cars to the little town. Yeah. Something that small, that simple for him or for millionaires and billionaires, yeah. you know, it doesn't mean a lot. But right. for those individuals in that town, mm -hmm. um, the impact of what he did. The experience, you know like the I mean? impact, like, I mean, the now miracle. These, brought it's it's a people. miracle, you yeah. know what I mean? You know? And it, nobody's just like sitting up thinking like cars are going to be falling out of the sky. But this guy exactly. literally provided a situation that helps so many people. 
Uh, I can't wait to do that. Like, yeah. That sounds like, I just love giving people a good, it's a good time, you know, mm-hmm. and just like, I just love seeing people happy. So I can't wait to, we get to that point to give more to people, you know. Well, that's why they got to buy on Diamond, um, DiamondHollyProductions.com, buy some of my merchandise, help support our yes, channel so support. we can keep bringing you some of this premium content. And please subscribe down below. Yes, guys, if you love this video so far, make sure you subscribe to the channel and following us on Instagram and TikTok because we're, us- we're using TikTok more. We're trying to use TikTok more. I mm-hmm. feel like, you know, we're missing out on the, the TikTok world. Yeah, we got to do better. We got to do better. Uh, however, every time I look at TikTok, I'm, I'm just a little disappointed by some of the stuff. I yeah, do. my dad's not, my dad and my brother are not really like TikTokers I, like me. Like, they're not enrolled in TikTok University like I am. TikTok University. So the- <laughs> So they are not really like caught up. Like I have to TikTok show them. News, like I have TikTok to show music, them. Like, university dance choreography. Like, <laughs> but you guys need to be on TikTok more. It's like I feel like we're missing a good chunk of you know people. Yeah, because we 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 know we're supposed to be here, and so now we got to make sure we are able to provide all our content to everywhere. Yeah. Uh, so everyone can know. Uh, what we're doing and what we're trying to bring exactly so make sure you follow us on tiktok we're gonna be up- uploading every week but yeah that concludes today's episode do you have anything else no. wait i do remember that one quote when it was like you're gonna be making more money in your future like your financial when you're planning you're making more money in your future so don't think about how much money you have in your pocket today yeah that's actually a good one and also a a, a broker told me when i was buying my first house back 20 years ago he says, he looked at me because I was sitting there concerned about how amortization worked and I was worried about payments and future interest and, yeah. um, you know, balloon costs. And I was just finding out a lot about real estate and stuff mm-hmm. at that time. So he was educating. He looked at me. He says, do you think that you're going to be making the same amount of money now uh, that you are now in five years? Right. I said, well, no. Right. He said, so what are you worried about? Yeah. You're supposed to be making more. If you stay stagnant and you stay in the same place, you're not moving. You're not doing something right. Facts. You need to change the game and do something totally different. Once again, sometimes it takes a mind shift, yes. uh, a mindset shift to basically redirect. And that, like that, him telling you that is such a mindset shift. Like, Four houses later. That really you know changes I mean? your whole. I still remember that. It literally changes your whole perspective once somebody mm-hmm. tells you that. Yeah. Like when I first, when you first told me that, I was like, you know what? I'm really not. So I mean, I mean, the, I'm the, not. The jobs that you had in the past, yeah. Those were the jobs that were age appropriate and yeah. the jobs that at the level you were at, right? That you would be able to get. Mm-hmm. That wasn't always the outcome for what you had in the future, you know. So I always tell people, you know, just because that. Um, this job doesn't look so promising. Yeah. The best thing about having a job is you can always look for a new job and but. get a better job and improve your situation. But if you don't have a job, it's going to be tough on money. You're not going to be able to move as much as you, you can. Yeah. So a lot of times you have to do what it takes to get uh, in a better situation. Mm-hmm. So you need a job right. and get a better job and then get a better job. And then if you need to educate yourself, go to school. Um, right. If you need a real estate license, get your real estate license. It's like, yeah, go, you know what I mean? Yeah, just there's always a way. And just know that you're not going to be in the same position you are now mm-hmm. in a year or in a couple months. Like, that's if you are, reflect. You need to reflect mm-hmm. because that's not okay. But <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Like, I don't even mean to be saying it like that, but I'm just yeah, like, it's a, true, it's a true statement. <laughs> you got to keep it moving. Yeah. But it's just in like, the that's, right direction. Level yeah, up. Level up always like that's just so important like when somebody tells you that it just really i love that quote i don't know know what the quote is but i'll link it down below but i love you guys so much thank you guys for tuning into our podcast thank you guys for being here listening to the whole episode we really appreciate you guys we love coming to the studio every week and i don't know i just love podcasting (laughs) <laughs> and once again, we'd like to thank Nick for allowing us to be here at You Belong Here Studio. Yes, in San Diego. So if you guys want to rent the studio, I told you they have services like photo shoots, podcasting, meetings, yoga. We'll link the website down below. You guys can check it out. But we love you guys so much and stay shining. Stay shining.
This week, guys, I want to talk about creating a spark. Basically, what I mean by that is it's two ways to, uh, to, to light a fire in someone. You can throw a bucket of gasoline on them and um, light a match and they're going to be charcoal after a few minutes. Or you could find a way to help that person create that spark with inside of them. And in that way, that spark turns into a fire and that fire burns for the rest of their life. So basically, guys, don't set anybody on fire. Help create a spark in someone's life.